Hi Eurovision TV, welcome back to Eurovision Island here in Copenhagen. My name is Abdelaziz Mahmoud and the next country is Norway. Carl Espen and Josephine, welcome. Thank you. You just had your first uh, rehearsal on stage. Yeah. How was it? It was very good, yeah. It was uh, really fun to, to see and experience the stage. So it was a great arena. Yeah? yeah? yeah it was really fun to, to perform there, yeah. And it's a big stage, isn't it, for a ballad? I mean, you have to fill yeah. it. Mm. Uh, what what do you think? What's your thoughts about the big big stage? I think um, I don't think it matters that much because um, I, the main focus is on me and and I just have to perform the song as best as I can to just and that and that will fill the stage. Well, I've been looking forward to meeting you because uh, many of the other artists have either been in, uh, in, in you know, talent shows and, and, and other mm. places, but you've been a carpenter, you've been a doorman. How the heck did you end up here? <laughs> That's a good question. Well, I, I've, been, I've been singing and playing guitar since I was 15, 16, and I always had a dream of, of, of doing this and performing to people, but, but um, somehow it didn't, just didn't happen. And, but, but now, uh, when Josephine came to me with, with the song Silent Storm, and she asked, after I'd heard it, she asked if, uh, if, she, <coughs> if she could um, uh, send it to, to the Ligue Prix, the Norwegian ESC. Yeah. And uh, I said yes, almost immediately, because the song was so great. Yeah. And Josephine Winter, you're uh, Esp Carl Espen's cousin. That's correct. Uh, and why did you write this song for Carl Espen? Well, I was thinking about... Um writing a song for the Norwegian pre-selections. And uh, I've known Carl Espen since I was born, literally. So, and I've always known that he has a beautiful voice and that he has been dreaming about singing for people. And I just, uh, and then I thought about him and I thought, mm, I have a couple of songs or each blah, blah, blah. And then I realized that if Carl Espen is gonna sing, he needs to sing something that is truly his. So I just um, sat down and tried to, you know, think about Carl Espen, like I know him and I know him very well and just try to, you know, really write something that would be important for him to say and that would actually, you know, mean something to him, just not some uh, song. And the result was Silent Storm. So, uh, yeah, and I showed it to him and I didn't tell him that it, it was for him because I just wanted <laughs> to see his, you know... Reaction? His true reaction. Yeah. And I think I remember the moment when he said, uh, like, he asked me, like, what is this song? Because this sounds a lot like me or something like that. And then I knew that this was a good combination. Yeah. Mm. And music is a, a, a big part, a huge part of your family, not just you two. So, so did you always know that you were going to end up at uh, the Eurovision stage? Or did you always <laughs> hope for it to happen? Uh, no, I, 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 no, I didn't. Um, like I said, I, I've, I've always been singing and, and enjoying music, but, um, but I never dreamed that I would end up in a big stage like this. This is just amazing. Mm. Yeah. Well, congratulations so far. Thank you. Um, I don't know if we have any questions yet. I, yeah, of course, over there. Hi, Carl. Alistair Birch from SBS Radio in Australia. Uh, can you tell us a little about your passion for fishing? Did you ever have to decide between music and fishing, and which is more important for you? <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, I, I, I've always, always enjoyed fishing since I was a little child. Um, but. Um, but fishing is, is, is a hobby. It, it's nothing that I, I can make a living of, even though I'm from Norway and there are people making a living of fishing. But, but if I had to choose between music and fishing, it had to be music. Yeah. Well, we also have a, a question from on Twitter. Uh, you can always write in, uh, write at uh, hashtag Ask Your Vision, and many people has, have done so. One of the questions are from our user, Sarah Löwebo, who's asking you, uh, well, 2012 Sweden won, and last year Denmark won. Mm. And is this year Norway's turn? Well, I can only hope. Um, I'm going to do my very best to, to, to try to make that happen. But, I'm, but I'm, I'm dependent on the votes. Europe have to, has to vote for me. So, But uh, yeah, it will be really fun if Norway won. Yeah. yeah? Mm. You, you're up against a lot of ballads uh, this year. Yeah, what I do you am. think about that? Um, there's, a, there's a lot of good songs uh, in, in, uh, in the competition this year. So, um, uh, but, I, but I'm just uh, my main focus is just to, just to do my song and, and not view the others as a com as competitors as, as my enemy or my competitors uh, or more. We're just here to sing our song, really. Yeah. 
Do you still work as a carpenter? I, I, I asked you about that. Um, uh, it's not a carpenter, actually. It's a glazier. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah? that's okay. Uh, but yeah, I do. And can you, are you, I asked this uh, everyone who's been up here, and some of them are theater stars, and some of them are talent show stars. Can you use that background in, in any way on, on, on stage? or? Uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> okay, so it's a far fetch, I yeah. know. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. Yeah, over there. Hi, Carl. I'm Stefan from working for UC Daily. Um, uh, you spoke to a colleague of mine at the Norwegian final, actually. I was wondering, um, after your uh, great performance in the in the Norway final and in the build-up to here, there's been a lot of talk about you know your 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 good performance, but also about your nerves. How much is it frightening you now that you've... I mean, you've seen the, the, the real stage, the big one, and you've seen the arena. Is it frightening you? How do you think about that? Um, today it wasn't frightening. Today it was just fun. But, um, but sure, uh, there's going to be a, a lot of pressure on me and a, lot, a bit more tension when, a, when the whole arena is full of, full of people. But, um, but that's one of the things that we've been focusing on. Uh, and just trying to keep, um, keep keep my calm and, and try not to get nervous and not to think so much about it and just focus on what I'm supposed to do. What is it that, that terrifies you? Is it, is it that the audience or is it the cameras and the choreography or what is it that, that's difficult for you, a challenge for you? Uh, I don't... I don't I, I think it's, a, it's a, maybe it's a little bit of combination, but but most of all, I don't want to I don't want to let people down by, by oh. doing a bad job, yeah. and, and and I think a lot about that. So I I, I, I just want to do do as best as I can. And, yeah. Well, I guess you know you made it this far, right? And people love you in Norway, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, a, cool. that's a huge comfort. Yeah. Any questions left? Well, I'd like to talk to you about um, now. Uh, for example, Noah has come in last, uh, no less than 11 times. Um, not to make you more nervous about this, <laughs> just talked about your nerves. But still, do you think about what, like, um, that, that you're rep representing a country as well, or do you just yeah. think about your song and that your cousin wrote this? And, like, what goes your, uh, in your mind? I think about it a, much, uh, a lot that I'm actually rep representing my country now. So um, I have to step up my game even further than I did in, in Oslo. Um, and it's, it's, it's a very strange feeling to, 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 to recognize that you are actually representing your, your country. And, um, but that makes, just makes me want to perform even better. And, yeah. Yeah. And Josephine, you talked about this song being obviously for Carl Espen when you wrote it and, and you hope that th th that was his reaction, immediate reaction, and it was. What is it about the song that you know that this is going to be a Carl Espen song and not someone else? Well, this song had a very special starting point for me because I sat down with Carl Espen in mind and that was my goal. Uh, so, I, and I've never worked that way before, ever. I, usually I just write music and whatever happens, happens. So. To have him in mind and actually, you know, almost meditate over this person, this human being, and you know what moves inside him, that was a very uh, powerful way of actually, you know, creating something, and then see it come to life in him, and then in Norway, and now in the world, <laughs> it's a very, it's a very um, powerful feeling. Yeah. yeah. Why aren't you up in this on stage uh, with him? With him. Mm? This is his song. It's not mine. Like hundred percent, and I think, uh, well, I've already I already cried a couple of times on mm. TV now. So, <laughs> mm. you've seen what it does to me to see it uh, performed by him. And uh, to me, it's, it was never a question of being on stage okay. with that song because this is his. And uh, as we began this interview with, that you you've already been on stage once now, and during your first rehearsal. Um, now you've watched it as well. Do you know if you're going to change anything or...? Just minor things, yeah. Um, but my, my, my main focus is about, uh, about the singing. Uh, the rest that's on the stage, uh, I leave to the other people. Yeah? yeah? Mm -hmm. So uh, have you been uh, watching the other contestants here in Eurovision? Uh, not on stage no, today, no. Oh. no. I've, I've just seen glimpses on, on different monitors, but I haven't studied them or listened to them, no. Uh, you haven't even listened to the other uh, songs? I, li I listen to the songs, yeah. of course, yeah, but not, to, not today, on oh. the rehearsals. No. Any favorites? 
Yeah, I have I have two favorites actually. Two. Uh, yeah, two. Uh, I I really like uh, Kamal Linnets from Netherlands, and uh, the Finland's contribution as well. Soft Engine is is yeah? is very good. Yeah. What do you like about them? Um, <laughs> Well, the common linux is a is, it, it's a very good country ballad. It's it just uh, it's it's very well written and very well performed. And it, uh, sometimes when you hear a good song, you don't have to. You, it's hard to put your finger on it, yeah. but, but you know that it's good. It's good. But, oh, yeah. And they're in the same semifinal, a semifinal as you are. Yeah, yeah. that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's ten of us. So, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Thank you so much. Um, I think we have uh, one question over there. Behind you? No, you, sir? <laughs> Hello, Carl. I'm Robin from ESCToday.com. And I first met Carl the night before Melody Grand Prix. And you've got, you've got more pressure on you now than you had then. And you seem more calm and collected. Have you found the trick? Maybe I'm just getting used to this a little bit. <laughs> but um, before the Norwegian finals, um, uh, everything was new. Uh, now, now I've been talking to the press for, uh, for over a month, and so I'm starting to get used to it, and I'm, I'm starting to calm down. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Hi, Alistair again. Uh, Carl, can you tell us about an earlier music competition where I think you performed a song by Cat Stevens? How did that compare with Eurovision? And maybe can we hear a little bit of it, if you remember it? Yeah, that was actually at my, at my, my home place, where I'm from. Uh, every year they, had this, they have this, um, this singing competition. Um, and um, I entered uh, as a 17-year-old boy with uh, Cat Stevens' Wild World. Uh, and I won. Uh, I won the entire competition. Uh, that was a real fun experience for me. And um, um, but um, yeah, do you want to you want me to sing a little bit of Wild World? <laughs> okay, if I remember it. <clears throat> Ooh, baby, baby, it's a wild world. It's hard to get by just upon a smile, girl. Or something like that. That's cool. Thank you so much. Carl Espen, I wish you good luck for the Eurovision in the second semi-final. I'm sure you'll do well. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. And thank you for joining us. Remember, you can ask all your questions you want to. Just remember to hashtag Ask Eurovision. Thank you and see you in a bit.